In this video, you will learn how your plastic bottles are turned into polyester fabric. The first step is to recycle old, unused bottles. This process is done by you as a consumer, and it's as easy as one, two, three. Once they arrive at the recycling plant, the recycling is then sorted by material. The PET plastic is separated from the HDPE, or high-density polyethylene, PVC, and other plastics. The bottles are then crushed, baled, and sent to the next plant. The bottle labels can either be removed from the bottles by a delabeling machine, or after they are shredded, they can be dissolved in a corrosive caustic soda bath. The bottle caps are made out of HDPE plastic and are shredded with the PET plastic bottles into small chips. The HDPE chips can either be separated by dumping the mixture into a large bath where the HDPE plastic will float, or by using a high-tech sorting machine. The PET chips now need to be sorted by color. The colors are separated in a special machine called a sorter. The sorter is able to isolate flakes from the group. The flakes run over a slide piece by piece, tens of thousands per minute. LEDs light up the material stream while sensors recognize the different colors. A computer analyzes the data and operates a series of 60 nozzles which blast air at the unwanted colors, sending them into a separate bin. This process is repeated several times to ensure that only the desired color remains. The white or clear chips are the most valuable as they can be turned into white fabric. The remaining chips are washed with detergent and thoroughly cleaned. The clear chips are mixed with white and blue virgin PET pellets to ensure that the fabric does not come out yellowed when it's made. They are sent to a large rotating oven which dries the material for about 10 hours before they are able to move on to the next process, where an extruder is used to create polyester filaments. The PET mixture is poured into the machine where a large rotating screw pushes the material forward. The chamber is heated to about 270 degrees Celsius. The mixture is melted and the pressure increases as the screw forces the plastic through a die. The die has 68 holes and is part of the machine called the spin pack. The spin pack is made up of the die, mesh filter, metal distribution plate, and bits of shattered metal for extra filtration. The cap is screwed onto the spin pack and a metal connector piece is inserted. It is preheated to be sure that the plastic doesn't solidify prematurely. Then, the spin pack is inserted into the machine. The extruded fibers are funneled together and cool air is blown onto them to entangle the filaments. This yarn is very stiff and collected onto a spool for further processing. The yarn is pulled through a series of heated rubber rollers that stretch the polyester and realign the molecules, increasing the yarn's ductility. It is then twisted and wound onto a spool. The spools of polyester are sent to manufacturers. Here, hundreds to thousands of these spools of thread are woven together on a loom to create bolts of fabric. Finally, the completed polyester fabric can be bleached, dyed, cut, and sewn into the desired garment. This video was brought to you by the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga's Manufacturing Processes class, created and presented by Nina Rice. Thank you for watching.